Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Valerie Mills. Thanks for logging on to my Fox Hurricane. Just ahead of the peak of the 2024 hurricane season, tropics really showing signs of life. There's three areas of interest that we're tracking right now. One of those in the Gulf of Mexico, a weak little area of low pressure has a low end chance to develop only 10% over the next two days, 20% over the next seven. This area here that is expected to move into the Caribbean Sea at the end of this weekend, early next week. This one is our most impressive area that we're watching right now, about a 50 50 shot over the next seven days for this to develop. But over the weekend, we don't really expect any development. It's still in an area where it's kind of battling some hostile environment and right on the heels of this, a little tropical wave that has just kicked off the coast of Africa. Only about a 10% chance for any development over the next seven days. So all of these areas will slowly strengthen if they do strengthen. But I want to start with that one system that's just a couple hundred miles to the east of the Lesser Antilles. That's the one that has a 50% chance to develop. So this is the area where as it kind of crosses into the Caribbean by next Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to start to move over very warm waters and a lot of environmental conditions will be more favorable for strengthening. So it's generally going to continue on that west northwest track. So by the middle and end of the week, we'll have a better idea of how strong that potential system will be and the potential track it will take. But it is looking more likely that that's going to be the area that could potentially strengthen into a depression or our next name storm of the season. That would be Francine. And part of the reason for that Look at the area that it's moving into this red color that we see here really all from the Caribbean up into the Gulf of Mexico and even kind of extending across the east coast of the country. That is a lot of tropical heat potential in the waters and that is exactly what a storm like this would feed off of. We have water temperatures into the upper 80s as it continues approaching the Gulf of Mexico mid 80s for most of the Caribbean. So here's our exclusive Fox model and this is kind of the general trend that we expect with that system continuing to move to the west. So by Wednesday evening, that's kind of the part where it crosses into the Caribbean. So parts of the Leeward Islands, they're going to see some tropical like rain at the end of the weekend, likely not any sort of tropical system at that point. Then we look ahead to Thursday and that's when it's continuing to move through the Caribbean and starting to look a little bit more organized there. So this is something that will slowly be strengthening. And so by the middle of next week, we should have a better idea. Then that system that's spinning in the Gulf of Mexico, while it doesn't look too likely that it will develop, as it continues moving over these very warm Gulf waters, we're going to talk about a lot of wraparound rain, especially for parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, even the southeast coast of Texas, as this is kind of just going to slowly spin over these areas right on through Labor Day. So that's where we expect, while I mean, maybe not a developing system, expect them some tropical like rains. And look at all the heavy rain that it's expected to bring these coastal areas over the next three days. So it doesn't line up too great with the holiday weekend, but the peak of hurricane season is September 10th, so we're kind of approaching the next couple of weeks, which we expect to be busy and especially all of this dust that's just off the coast of Africa. That's that third area of interest that we're watching. That's been keeping things quiet. That dust starts to break down and then from there things are looking very favorable for additional strengthening. So we'll continue to watch all three of these areas. Any additional ones that might pop up and we'll continue to bring you updates right here on my Fox hurricane.